what is up guys thank you very much for watching this video is going to be important to me and to you and to my future self and to my past me to my present self i'm going confused <laughs> so what i'm trying to do what i'm trying to say is i will make this video really important the title says 2040 right see you in 2040 well it is a time capsule put it that way so i went to the post office i got a box in here i got some cool stuff that i want to put in this box and in the future the year 2040 that's the year that i want to open this if i'm still alive if god allows me to be alive by then it's going to be a blessing if not well what can i say <laughs> i'm just knock on wood right <laughs> but anyways this is a box it's not just a post office box priority mail no it's gonna be a time capsule box future self for me so if you're watching this in the future you probably have gray hair wrinkle maybe have grandkids probably got married stay single I don't know but if you're watching this I just want to say to myself I'm proud of you and I'm proud of this channel to my subscribers I love each and every one of you and I just want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for those who have been supporting my channel and those for the newer viewers the new future subscribers welcome thank you and let's have a great time and i want to show you end it <laughs> and i want to show you that was for my future self just end right there <laughs> i don't want to get emotional because i think i'm gonna get emotional in the future when i watch this video right now it's 2021 so 19 years down in the future 2040 i will be psyched i'll be like damn is that how i looked with this long beard long hair black panther tank top <laughs> i don't know let's get in the video all right so first of all guys welcome the first thing that i have here is maybe you guys should do this too for yourself it'll be really awesome i guarantee it's going to bring a lot of memories nostalgia when you go when then you're in the future there i go again rambling by myself i'm just trying to get to the point if you're in the future i'm confusing myself holy crap <laughs> let's just get to the point of the video <laughs> anyways okay so the first thing that i'm gonna put is is this awesome comic book i am a big fan of spider-man and of course wolverine i remember watching the animated series spider-man and x-men when i was young and then fast forward i went to my comic book store i saw this it cost me 8.99 i want to read it so bad you have no idea how much i want to open this but this got me the idea to do this video the time capsule box Oh, my little parakeets. And so, when I think I'm going to be 40 years old, or am I going to be 50? I don't know. Wait. No, I'm going to be 50 years old. I'm sorry. Holy crap. I'm going to be 50 years old when I open this, 50 years old when I open this box. So, 50-year-old me, I hope you have a great time reading this comic because I want to read it right now, but it's going to go in the box. In the future, I'll read it. Next on the list, I also got this awesome... I saw the movie Suicide Squad. I loved it. Cannot wait to come out on 4K Blu-ray so I could keep it and have it with me. Because I did watch it on HBO Max, but I want to own the physical copy. So in the future, you never know what's going to happen. What if there's no more digital copies? Or I don't know. And the only way to watch Suicide Squad is to have it on Blu-ray or 4K or DVD or even VHS. That's a long time ago. Anyways, I saw this magazine there. It was free too, so I was no complaining. And I won't open it until... The year 2040 when i'm 50 years old so it's gonna go there in the box next on the list uh well not on the list but next what i have is a brand new dvd of arthur me and my best friend we are big fans of arthur and it sucks that they're gonna end their series to show this year i think it's this year or next year but when i was young uh i grew up in a poor neighborhood same with my best friend we didn't have cable and the only channels that was available was with using the antenna because back in back then we didn't have um, smartphones we didn't have youtube all we had was basic tv uh you know the tube tv <laughs> the old school tv and or you could go outside with your friends and play and luckily the pbs kids they provided us with a free channel for us kids poor people or not poor people or just people who didn't have cable and like me and arthur was one of the shows that they offered for free and man i tell you arthur 
means a lot in my life. It brings a lot of memories when I watch it on YouTube. And when I saw this DVD, I just had to take it. You know, PBS Kids, you get my money. I invested good money for this DVD. And I will not open this in the, in the future. I will, I'm not gonna open it right now, but of course in the future, which is gonna go in the box. So Arthur, thank you, PBS Kids, the creators of Arthur. You made my childhood awesome. And I'm gonna open this when I'm 50 years old. Damn. <laughs> All right, I'm 31 years old. So 19 years later, yeah, I'm gonna be 50. Holy crap. All right, next, what we got on the list? This Pokemon card. I was cleaning my room, my closet, and I found this Pokemon card there. I was like, wait a minute, Slowpoke. Well, what, what was it doing there in the ground? And you know what? I just picked it up, put it aside, and then I told myself, how about the future self me when he sees this card? I'm gonna be like, wait, why is this here? Oh, it's cause I cleaned my room and I found Slowpoke on the ground. But I love Pokemon, I adore Pokemon cards. So speaking of Pokemon cards, I have another one. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? There we go. This is a brand new Shiny Fate that I have yet to unbox. So I will unbox it in the future. I don't know what cards is inside. It's gonna go in my tab capsule because when I was young, I remember when they released the first Pokemon cards going to 7-Eleven, we would buy Pokemon cards. Then we take it to school, show off to our friends, we'll trade, we'll even battle. And Pokemon brings, Pokemon means a lot to me in my life. I'm sure it means a lot to you guys too, especially playing the Pokemon games, Pokemon Blue and Red. So this is gonna go in the box and I'm gonna open it in the future. <laughs> Next on the list is Pop Pez. There's candy in here. Oh, matter of fact, um, where is that? Oh, I don't know where, oh, there we go. Tootsie Roll. I found a Tootsie Roll. I will put this in the box because when I opened the box for the very first time, 19 years later, I will definitely want to eat this sweet candy. Who knows if this could probably go extinct in the future or right now, right? Not in the future, I'm sorry. They won't exist. So I decided to have a Tootsie Roll. I'll probably be the only one that has Tootsie Roll in the future. Maybe AIs take over robots and they say no more Tootsie Roll because 051 is the only one that has it. So we're gonna stop him from eating this Tootsie Roll so we can make more, I don't know. So then I have this, it's a Pez. I do not wanna open this, but I will open it in the future. The, oh, damn dude, I wanna open this and eat this because I remember when I was young, we would always have this type of candy and then the little toy where you put the candy inside the toy, then you open the head and you can eat it. I'll do a demonstration in 2040. So this is gonna go in the box. This will probably be the first thing that I look at when I open it, and I'm gonna eat this right away. Wow. All right, next on the list, I found this Tokepi. This Tokepi means a lot to me because I have a little parakeet, and his name is Tokepi. And when I was shopping, I found, hold up, Tokepi. You know what, I'm gonna show you my little parakeet. Give me one minute, let me grab him. So this is my little budgie parakeet named Tokepi. So if you're watching this in the future, self, you're gonna remember all those kisses that you gave him and he ran away from me. I love that bird. Every day I wake up, every night before going to sleep, I always give him a kiss. Before I go out, I always give him a kiss. And I named him Tokopi because he's a bird and he came from an egg. And Tokopi came from an egg. <laughs> so when I open this in the future, it's gonna remind me of Tokopi, my little parakeet. I know they don't last forever, but every second counts when I'm with him. So I could take good care of my parakeets because I love them. Yeah, I'm watching you, he's staring at me because he knows me. Every time I get close, he just runs away. Tokepi. <laughs> so I found this awesome Tokepi. It's a mega construct, it's Lego, similar to Lego, we just build it. And this is gonna be awesome in the future. I'm gonna put that in the box. All right, what else? Oh, so these are brand new video games that I have yet to unbox. So we have Mario Sports Superstars and Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Will I have the DS in the future, the 3DS in the future, or the Xbox Series X, or the Xbox, who knows what's gonna be called, backwards, backwards compatible, who knows? All I know is that I'm gonna do an unboxing in the future. I will be, who knows what in the future is gonna hold for Nintendo. Nintendo Switch Pro, Nintendo, I don't know. 50 year old me, damn, just saying 50 year old me. God, I'm feeling, I'm old bro. I'm not old, but I'm 31, but just saying that I'm gonna be 50 when I open this box, I'm gonna be, damn, I'm gonna be 50 years old. 
So I will unbox these brand new games that I have yet to unbox. And in the future, we're all gamers here, right? This channel is uh, based on the video game channel. And when I open these, it's going to touch my heart because I'm going to look back and say, yo, I remember playing Minecraft and Nintendo 3DS. Dude, I want to... I wanna, it's like a tears coming out cause holy crap, man. I guarantee when I open this in the future, I'm gonna start crying. I don't know why, just, I'm an emotional person. I'm like, I'm so sensitive, I'm like, damn. All right, so let's move on. This right here is a Digimon box. Uh, I purchased this on a GameStop. I haven't opened it yet. I don't even wanna open it right now, but probably in the future, I wanna open, yes, that's my little parakeet. I will open this in the future. I know, I'm telling that to my viewers, so chill. <laughs> and, this is what's his name? War Greymon. Watching Digimon back in the day with Pokemon. There were I don't know if there were versus versus. I don't know. I don't know if there it was competition, but I love both shows, Pokemon and Digimon. And I will definitely open this in the near future. Not right now. I know. Not right now. I said in the future. So chill out. He's just telling me to not open nothing because I don't want to surprise him. I know. I don't want to surprise the moment. Back off, man. Back off, Tokabi. <laughs> So this is going in the box. What else is going in the box? Bam! Do you guys remember this, Club Nintendo? When they, this is Super Smash Bros for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Um, Club Nintendo, if you were a membership and you purchased games, you get points, and then those points would accumulate. And then, uh, it's like today, Club Nintendo, but it's, it's not the same compared to how it was before. There were more physical stuff and there were more options of variety to choose from, collectible items. Plus, every year, if you were with them, you would get this awesome package. This, I don't know how you call it, but you would get some cool bonuses that Nintendo sends you for free. And so I had enough points to get this CD. And boy, I will play this in the future. I keep on saying the future, 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 because what else am I gonna say? towards the end of the year of 2049 i don't know wait am i gonna open in 2040 and 2050 no it's 2040 i'm sorry so i don't want to confuse myself and i will open this it's still brand new but i will open it hey chill out do my video all right i will open it in the near future next on the list are two special items to me this is definitely gonna bring emotional in the f hey hey i'm making a video this was given my dad. He went to El Salvador. My dad's from El Salvador. And he brought this for me as a gift. He gave me a tank top and this bracelet. It has my middle name, Eduardo. And this lanyard, my mom gave it to me when the Washington Nationals won their World Series for Christmas. I have these two items I'm going to put in the box. This really means a lot. Coming from my parents, mom, and dad. I don't know what the future holds for us, but if you're watching this in the future, I love you. And damn, two gifts from mom and dad. It's gonna go in the box when I open it in the future. Damn, I gotta make sure to have tissues. <laughs> I gotta make sure I have enough tissues. All right, what's next on the list? Oh, I found this cool keychain. It's a key ring, if you wanna put it. It's Pikachu. And of course, I'm a big fan of Pokemon. I grew up playing Pokemon. I love Pokemon, Pokemon Red and Blue. Pokemon Blue would be my favorite video game of all time. It's just Game Boy Color, man, or the Game Boy Pocket. After school, I think I was in fifth or fourth grade, we would always go to the library and I remember everybody would have their own Pokemon game, their Pokemon Game Boy Color or Game Boy Pocket. And we would play, trade, battle. So Pokemon means a lot to me and seeing this, in the time capsule box, open it, it's gonna be really special. It's gonna bring back a lot of memories. Pretty much all these items are gonna bring back memories. This is my first amiibo. I was gonna put it in there, but I don't know. It's my first, it's my only amiibo that I have. I do have amiibos, amiibos, but they're in a package. This is the only one that I open. It's linked. This is my first amiibo that I have. So I don't know if Breath of the Wild 2, you'll be able you'll be able to use this link. I'm pretty sure you can. So I'm gonna leave you out here. But I just wanna show you guys, show off that this is my first Amiibo. <laughs> okay, next on the list, next on the list would be, shh, trying to do a video. All right, I had this sock. I got this on GameStop clearance department. 
Guys, I got this a long time ago. I would say five years ago, and I still have it. I think it's probably been five years that I have this sock. And it was just there in my room. I have yet to unbox it, yet to wear it. And I could probably wear it when I do my next video unboxing this time capsule box. So when I open this, I'll probably wear it and be like, yo, finally I put on Street Fighter socks. Who is she? I forgot her name. Anyways, there it goes. I've had this in a while. Street Fighter V. Okay. I think this was a promotion for Street Fighter V when the game was released. I guess I'll open it later. Next on the list is Play-Doh. I want to see if it's... Not, it's still good. I got this from my little niece's birthday party. And I actually stole it. Because <laughs> they're giving out candy, you know, bags, souvenirs. I don't know what you call it. Gift goodie, gift goodie bags. And... My little niece was playing with this, but I decided that I wanted it. I don't know why, because I remember playing Play-Doh when I was young. And I want to see if it's still, see it's already dried up. But I want to see if it still be good in the future. If it still be, uh, if, if it won't dry, you know how it goes hard if you leave it out. I want to see if it lasts for a while, if you know what I mean. Just put in damn box, Angel, shut up and continue. Just see if it works, if it's still usable in the future that's what i'm trying to say all right what else we have oh so we got some promo um promotional items is that you pronounce it so these items were at target you know when nintendo releases their games they usually provide a promotional item for free so if you pre-order this game or if you purchase this game at the store at launch you get an item so each of these cost me five cents i don't know why I guess after the promotional ends, after the video game is on sale later down the week, say after release two weeks from the, from the release date, Nintendo, uh, Target usually put their promotional free items on sale for five cents. Usually it's $10 or five cents, but when I ring it up in the register, it was five cents. So we have a zip pouch of Mario Golf. And then I believe this is phone tech badges. Maybe I'm gonna have grandkids in the future. I might give this to them. If I have, if I ever have kids, grandkids, this will probably be for you. Same with this. <laughs> All right. This is what I'm talking about. This is a trainer's guide from the original Pokemon game. We could unbox it. Sure, why not? Okay. It's just there in my room, just collecting dust. I don't know why, but. This cost me $10. This is just the manual itself. I think this is Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, so this is Pokemon Yellow. You damn right when I open this. This is gonna bring a lot of memory. Holy crap, guys. You remember when video games, Nintendo, PlayStation, Microsoft, they offer instruction manual booklet in their video game, uh, video game case, in the video games, put it that way. Nowadays, if you get a Switch game, you get nothing. Even a PlayStation or Xbox game. When you open the case, the physical, where you open the case, it's gonna be empty. Usually there's only warranty about the product. Well, no, this is gonna go in the bag. I wanna make sure it's in good mint condition. That way, 50 year old me is gonna open this and be like, yo. Sorry, let's put it in there. I remember playing Pokemon Yellow. Okay, you're going in there. All right, what else do we have on the list? Well, not, why do I keep saying this? Um, okay. We have this pen. Not pen. Is it a pen? It's an ML pin set. It's from Halo. I got this from the Funko Pop. Uh, why is it going in the box? I don't know. My little brother's a big fan. I'm probably going to give this to you, little brother, in the future. So if you're watching this in the future, little bro, this is for you. I'm going to keep it in the box. I'm gonna open it if you're still with me or if you moved out or wherever you are. I'm gonna call you I'm like, hey, do you remember about this pen that I almost gave you for your birthday but I kept? I'm gonna give it to you in the future. <laughs> so you're gonna go in there. All right, last but not least, guys, I have this awesome Jiren plushie that I put in my book bag. Unfortunately, my book bag ripped and I had no idea what I'm gonna do, what to do with this little Jiren plushie. I was gonna put it in my car, but I already have Spider-Man in my car. 
and what better way for me to open this in the future and say whoa dragon ball z let me go back and rewatch all the dragon ball z series from dragon ball to z to gt to heroes to dragon ball super and i'm gonna be like damn dragon ball z was the it probably still is the best in my opinion anime show of the year or of the beginning of time or i don't know forever forever and ever so little man you're gonna go in there all right and looks like that is about it i also have this little card that i've written here i'm gonna read it to you from oh let me show you this one from past angel today's date 9 10 2021 to future angel 2040 okay and then i have this 051 future me i hope this brings happiness to my youtube subscribers thank you for all your support i love you god bless p.s any gray hair feature me any gray hair feature me? <laughs> will i have any gray hair feature me will i i don't know dude this is really awkward when i'm in the future i'm gonna look at this hold up damn i bring a lot of memories nostalgia <laughs> there you go so just damn i don't know man it's just if you do one of these for yourself guys you're gonna feel the adrenaline of excitement that throughout these years they just hope that i'm still alive and i hope that each and one of you guys are still well and damn it's just i'm gonna be 50 years old when i open this if god allows me to live and i'm gonna look back and say to myself wow what a great idea angel that you did to yourself and i hope this encourage every other people watching this video to do one for themselves because i guarantee when you go into the future or when you're whatever day you decide to open this i hope it brings happiness to you i hope it brings joy that this life that we have is beautiful we only have one life to live and let's live it to the fullest let's love each other let's help each other and just be kind respectful and just live you know you only got one life so live it up and i hope this video brings a lot of happiness to you i'm sure it's gonna bring happiness to me in the future probably have long hair future me how will i look will i have the long hair the beard long mustache long will i look the same Will I look wrinkler? I don't know. Time will tell. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. It's been 23 minutes. Holy macaroni. By then, uh, we'll probably see the PlayStation 10, the Xbox 20, and the Nintendo Switch Revival. Nintendo Switch Mini Classic. Damn. <laughs> guys. Thank you very much for watching this. I love you with all my heart. I hope you have a great day. God bless each and every one of you. And long live gamers. Are you, damn, he's still, chill, 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 chill out, Tokopi. <laughs> and the other one's little man, Sun. I have two birds. One is yellow, Sun. I call him Sun. And the other one's Tokopi. All right, I'm gonna cut it off. Well, thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Whoops, before I end it, guys, I want to make sure that I, I brought tape. So, I'm going to write, well, I don't need to write it. I was going to write a uh, do not open after 20, what was it, 40? Do not open before 20, no, do not open bef before 2041. <laughs> Excuse me. Just do not open until 2040. There we go. Okay. So you see, I'm just gonna black tape like venom. And it's like I'm wrapping my own Christmas present. Oh crap. I made a mess. There we go. Just put it away. Whatever. Okay. So there you have it. I will not open this until 2040. All right. See you guys. Much love.